Okay, in this example, we have a um, table of data pairs, which represents a relation between the quantities x and y. Uh, the um, data pairs are arranged in columns in this example. And what we want to do is extrapolate or predict the value of y when x is equal to 24. Now, the reason this is called an extrapolation is because we're using an x value here, which is beyond the maximum value in the table in the relation. Uh, likewise, if we were trying to predict the value of y for an x value that was smaller than the minimum value in the relation, uh, for, uh, minimum value for x in the relation, then that would also be called an extrapolation. Now, the way we're going to do this is by using the midpoint formula. So recall the midpoint formula. The purpose of the midpoint formula is to um, allow you to find the point that's halfway between two given points on the rectangular coordinate system. So if we uh, represent the midpoint by x and y here, and x1, y1, and x2, y2 are two given points, uh, then it's very easy to find the midpoint. Uh, the coordinates for the midpoint you find just by averaging the two x coordinates of your two given points and averaging the two y coordinates of your two uh, given points. So let's see how we're going to apply the midpoint formula to this particular uh, problem. So let's imagine then um, that we have an additional column uh, in our uh, table. Um, so I'm going to add an additional column here. And since we're uh, interested in predicting the value for y when x is equal to 24, then I'm going to insert that uh, new uh, x value into uh, the table. And then this corresponding y value is the value that we want to predict. So the way we're going to use the midpoint formula here is I'm going to think of this uh, data pair as being the coordinates for um, the first point uh, in my midpoint formula. And then I'm going to think of this additional pair as being the second coordinates um, in my uh, midpoint formula. So of course, we can fill in the values for x1 and y1 since we know uh, both of these uh, uh, coordinates in this ordered pair. So x1 is going to be 16, and y1 is going to be 16. Unfortunately, though, we don't know the value for y2. That's the value that we're trying to predict. But we do have the value for x2. That, of course, is 24. That's the given value in the problem. So I'm going to fill in 24 here, but the y2, I don't have that value. Now, the 2010, I'm going to use that as my midpoint. So in this application of the midpoint formula, we already know what the midpoint is. Uh, its coordinates are supposed to be 2010. But I'm trying to determine this y coordinate, y2. <coughs> that would yield um, the midpoint uh, uh, 2010 uh, if I was using 16 and 6 as the first point, and then 24 and whatever this missing value y2 as the second point in the midpoint formula. All right, so let's do that calculation then. So again, we're given here the value for x and y. That's 2010. We know the value for uh, x1, that's 16. And we know the value for x2, that's 24. So filling that into my uh, midpoint formula, we have 16 plus 24 divided by 2. And of course, 16 plus 24, that's going to be 40. Divided by 2 is 20. And indeed, that is the uh, x coordinate for um, the point that we're assuming is the midpoint here. Now, let's compute the second uh, point in our midpoint, which we know to be 10. So that's going to be y1, which is 6, plus that missing value y2 divided by 2. 
So when we average those two y coordinates, we have to come out with 10. So that gives us an equation to solve there. We know that 10 is going to be equal to 6 plus y2 there divided by uh, 2. Well, just multiply both sides of this equation by 2 in order to clear that fraction. And so we get 20 is equal to 6 plus y2. And then just subtract 6 from both sides of uh, the equation to isolate y2 on the right-hand side. And so we get y sub 2 there is going to be 14. So our predicted value is 14. So when x is 24, uh, we could estimate that y there was going to be 14.